Welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development and in this video we are going to learn about adding some other theme supports as well. So let's begin with the post thumbnails. So currently if you go to our theme and if you go into post and try to add new you'll notice that over here on the right hand side right side bar we don't have an option of adding a post thumbnail now if you want to add support for that you can do that so all you have to do is use add theme support and then post thumbnails so I'll just use add theme support and then post thumbnails and that's it that's all you have to do so let's go back and check if I refresh you'd expect to see an option to add post thumbnail which is a featured image over here awesome this is great and at the time when we are discussing about showing those posts on the front end that's when we'll come back to this and add a featured image and there's a function in WordPress called get featured image and then you can actually use that function to render it in the front end at that time okay so we'll leave that for now and um, let's add some of the other theme supports and let me show you as to what it is and why we use it. So I'm going to go into this URL which is implementing selective refresh support for widget. There was a post written thing by Western Router uh, in the year 2016 and he explains over here that WordPress 4.5 includes a new customizer framework called selective refresh and is a hybrid preview mechanism that has performance benefits which means that it doesn't have to refresh the entire preview window when you are making changes right so there will be selective refresh because it also improves the accuracy of the preview change so you can read more about it and there's some more information here as well that you can use the add theme support and you can use this okay so let's we've already added that which is brilliant now next one up is add theme support for automatic feed links so this adds default posts and comments RSS feed links to the head okay which we will discuss more when we are actually doing the post but you know that it exists here okay there's one more and this one is called add theme support HTML5 okay so let me paste that for you to save time so this is add theme support HTML5 so what does it do basically it switches the default core markup for the search form comment form comment list gallery caption script and style to output the valid HTML5 so that's that's his job okay we also have some of the editor related theme support so we have a function called add editor style so I'm just going to add that here okay so what does it do it allows you to link a custom style sheet file to the tiny mice editor within the post edit screen so I know we're using Gutenberg but in case if you were using the tiny mice editor for some reason then it's going to go ahead and uh, attach this style sheet for that uh, by default it links the editor uh, dash style.css if your theme has it directly under the current theme directory it looks for that file and then you can also if you want to add your custom ones or a different one a different name altogether you can pass the path of that over here as a parameter but by default it looks for the editor da editor dash style.css so we don't have that file at the moment but just to let you know that if you were to add support for the the tiny mice editor and you wanted to add a specific style sheet for that this is how you can do it all right awesome next one up would be add theme support for WP block styles so let me explain that to you as well let me just add it here first so WP block style and I'm gonna take you to a link okay so what's new in the Gutenberg this is the 2018 post from Matthias and if you go on to and check the theme styles here it is I think the image is not available but 
It says that during the whole process of Gutenberg, we've come on to the realization that in order to have the most flexible content for styling within themes and letting us get closer to the visual party between front end and editor, we had to separate the presentation styles from the structural styles. So what this means is that some of the blocks in Gutenberg like tables, quotes, separator benefit from structural styles like margin, padding, border, etc. They are applied visually on in the editor backend but not on the front end to avoid the risk of conflicts with the style wanted in the theme. So if you want to display them on the front end to have the base to work with, in this case you can add the support for WP block styles. Okay. So that's what we're doing over here. So you can see that it says that if you want to explicitly let your theme, uh, you know, opt in for these styles, you can just add the add theme support for that. So you can go onto this link and you can read more about it. Okay, great, awesome. The next one up would be supporting the alignment for the Gutenberg blocks. So we have a add theme support aligned wide. So what this does is basically some blocks such as image block have the possibility to define a wide or full alignment by adding the correspondence class theme to the blocks wrapper. So if I don't use it, if I comment this out and let's go to the editor and try to add an image block and see what happens. So I'm going to add an image block and Currently, I do have an option to align center, left and right, but I don't have an option to align it wide. Okay, so I'm just going to publish it for a moment and then I'm going to uncomment the code that I just wrote and see what change that brings to the image block. There you go. So now you can see that you do have an option for align wide and then you also have an option of full width as well. So there are two options that have been added in the editor which is the wide width and full width because we added the support of the align wide. Okay, awesome. So you've seen that in action. Great. Uh, I think the last one for now what we're going to do is you can actually define the content width for your site actually. Uh, so there is a global variable which is called content width. So we'll just put that as global and then if it's not set is set which is content width then in that case we'll set its width equals let's say whatever your max width of the site is. So what this does basically when you are setting it here, uh, it sets the maximum allowed width for any content in the theme like all embeds and images added to the post. Okay, so you will see that in action when we are actually uh, working on the front end part of post etc. But for now, uh, this is for your information that it will allow you to set the max width for your content uh, onto your front end. So that's so. This is why we use it. Okay, there are others as well uh, which you can add the need basis. But there is one important one which we're going to come back to, uh, which will be load theme text domain, and that will be for actually for translation. So later on there will be an, a separate chapter for translation where we will discuss the in internationalization, localization. Uh, we'll be creating language folder, we'll be creating pod files, MO files and we'll be learning how to add the translation support in your theme in different languages. Okay, so I don't want to like mix it up because it will require some time for me to go over that. So for now I'm just putting that as a to-do, we will be doing that in the future videos. But I think now is the time to jump back onto our header because we need to be making all of this dynamic for now all we have is just the logo which is dynamic and rest of not the navigations so in the next chapter we are now going to come back on to the navigation and we're going to go ahead and understand how that is done dynamically in wordpress awesome so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already 
and uh, to support my work please follow me on github my github handle is Imran H. Sayyad and do star my repository to support my work and do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.